hey guys so today we'll be looking at a video on noel noel recently did an interview with mira thailand it's it's all in thai so i have done the english translations for you so he's talking about his queer identity he's talking about shipping culture in thai he's talking about his dreams as a k-pop idol and he's talking about being an actor or straight men being actors in the Thai BL industry. In this crazy life we live, we all need someone to hold, a friend to light the way, when the world starts to unfold, through all the- Does being an actor in a BL series help Noel understand LGBTQ better? A playing in a BL series didn't increase my understanding of LGBTQ because I already understood it well. I have a close friend who has been with me through everything for 10 years through their relationships, breakups and new partners. I've always been by their side, so I've never felt anything different, it's just a very normal form of love. If you ask what I've come to understand more, I guess I understand what the characters think, why they love someone, and why one person makes another feel this way. I understand that aspect more deeply. For example, even though Brother Fayu is playful and says things that don't match his feelings, what he does is show tenderness toward Nong Rain. He cares for and looks after Nong Rain. He's a warm guy who can be both a boyfriend and a big brother, and he can also be like a father figure looking after you. Meeting someone who can be all of that who wouldn't be touched by it, right? In the beginning, Nong Rain didn't really understand his own feelings. He was pursuing a girl, but in the end he realized that he was falling for a guy. That's really sweet because in real life, there are probably some people who might not be aware of themselves yet or might think, if I'm a guy, I should only like girls, but that's really not necessary at all. I'm also very happy that my family is open-minded about this. My dad once said that he doesn't care whether I bring home a son-in-law or a daughter-in-law, it can be anyone. As long as Nong Iul is happy, he's okay with it. And my mum, after watching the series I acted in, has now become a fan of my work laughs because in reality we can like anyone. If they treat us well and make us blush and feel flustered, we have the choice to love whoever we want. How does Nong Yul view sexual diversity today? I'm happy that the world is becoming more open these days. I feel that this era is one where everyone should accept sex sexual diversity. If I'm comfortable being with someone, I don't focus on whether they are a woman or a man. As long as that person makes my heart race and feels like my safe zone, I can be with anyone, as long as I'm happy with them. Personally, I have had experiences with both genders, so I feel that it's normal to have feelings for both. There's no need to limit yourself. How much respect, awareness, and honor does Nong Yule have for the characters he plays as a gay series actor, mostly straight men? I have a lot of respect for my character and love this character very much. Nong Rain is the starting point that introduced people to who I am. If it weren't for Rain back then, there wouldn't be Nong Eul today. I understand the thoughts and the message that Rain is trying to convey, so I feel that a man playing an LGBTQ role must understand that character. It's essential to portray the role authentically and to make the audience genuinely feel it. I have to give my all to it. Having lived in both South Korea and Thailand, what differences do Nong Eul see, especially regarding openness to sexuality? Uh, the first thing is that the weather is very different. The food is different, and the lifestyle or organization also varies quite a bit. But I actually like both environments, and I have many friends in both places. Regarding openness to sexuality, in my view, Thailand might be a bit more open, especially since we are moving towards equal marriage. In South Korea, it may not be as open due to various factors. However, the fact that I have Korean friends who are LGBTQ shows that it is becoming more normal. For some people who are still hesitant to hold hands in public because they fear judgment from others, I really want to support everyone in expressing their love. Not being able to show your true self or having to try to be what others want you to be is uncomfortable, no matter the issue. When we can't be ourselves or can't express ourselves as we truly are, even if we can endure it, we will eventually reach our limits and it won't be sustainable in the end. Noel always tells his fans that he is proud to be a BL series actor. What does Noel think people currently perceive BL series actors as? There are likely various perspectives. Some people might view BL series as a type of show that tells the love story between two people. 
however there are also those who are still not open-minded about it because they don't fully accept diversity in sexuality. If given the opportunity, I would love for them to watch it because it's entertaining. Today's BL series offer a wide range of options, featuring extravagant settings, crossing borders and time periods, and historical themes. It has evolved significantly and has become a part of Thailand's soft power. Many countries are showing great interest in it. Personally, when I was in Korea, I watched a BL series and found it enjoyable and cute I liked it. What are your thoughts on having ships in the BL series industry? For me and Boss, we are truly friends, so I feel that we are only a ship in our work together. In real life, we are very close friends. It's a comfortable relationship that has developed over time, we might argue sometimes, but deep down, we care for each other. It's a good relationship. I feel that fans can ship us as long as it stays within their own space. However, I also want to be clear that Boss and I are close friends. Sometimes I do enjoy sneaking a look at the boss know your moments because they're cute just making eye contact unintentionally can lead people to ship us. But there are some people who can't differentiate. Some ask why I'm not with my ship I have to clarify that we are friends we don't spend 24 hours together. We have our own lives. Sometimes I even get followed while driving. However, most of my fans are really sweet. I love a phrase they say that makes my heart swell they tell me to be anything and do anything that makes me happy. If I smile, they will be happy too. Noe always says that not every actor has to accept everything. When encountering some fans behaving poorly, how important does Noe all think it is for actors to protect themselves? Yes, we have the right to protect ourselves and to demand fairness when someone speaks poorly to us. It's not that we have to smile all the time. If someone is disrespectful or speaks negatively about those around us, we have the right to say that we are not okay with it. We don't have to play dumb or pretend to be oblivious, because actors are people too. Noe All just released a new song called No Ticket for Haters was the inspiration for this song drawn from direct experiences in the industry. My song No Ticket for Haters was indeed inspired by my direct experiences in the industry. Sometimes people say things like, you went to train in Korea, but in the end you have to come back and play in a Thai BL series they see it as just being a BL actor, merely selling a pairing. So I wanted to counter those dismissive remarks by showing that it's not true that all BL actors cannot do anything or lack talent. I want to continuously develop myself to earn recognition that BL actors can also be of high quality. No Ticket for Haters is a song that I co-wrote with someone I know, incorporating my essence into it. It reflects everything I've done and experienced, sharing my story so that people can understand what I've gone through. Essentially. I want to convey that I don't care about those who dislike me. In the end, those who don't like us will always hold biases against us no matter how well we behave, they will still dislike us. Therefore, we should value and appreciate the people who love and support us instead. When I first entered the industry, I used to love reading comments a lot. I would ask my manager and the people around me why they were commenting that way, why they didn't like me, and if I had done something wrong. I was trying to find answers to the why over and over again, but in reality I didn't need to search for answers they just didn't like me. They might dislike me just for my face, regardless of what I do. So I had to solve this problem by ignoring them. They are not the ones who love us or wish us well, so why should we spend our time caring about them? Over time I started to see it as a joke. Some comments even make me laugh now. It's like the line all the haters just entertain me they can only do so much and we can't force the whole world to love us. How does the skill of being brave enough to be hated make us stronger? I think if we are brave enough to be hated, we become stronger. In the end, I don't care who dislikes me. We stand here knowing that there will always be people who like us and those who don't. As long as we aren't causing anyone trouble, we should just do what we want. We don't need to focus on everything that comes into our heads. However, if it's feedback about our acting, our music, or anything else that we can use to improve ourselves, we'll keep it. But if it's something we can't change, like when some people bully our appearance while we're already content with ourselves, we have to let that go. We are the only one of us in the world, and we don't want to change to become someone else. What are Noel's next steps that he wants fans to look forward to, as well as his intentions moving forward? A. I'm going to have a new series where I play a character who believes in fortune-telling. He might be more stoic than Rain, but is very clever and aware of everything while pretending not to know. I hope you all will follow this series titled The Boy Next World. 
As for what I want to become from now on, I aim to be a good actor and a quality artist who is recognized for producing great work that people can appreciate. If I get the chance, I would like to perform on larger stages. My ultimate dream is to be on a hip-hop stage like Rolling Loud. I also want to try acting in a horror movie, whether as a ghost or as a person being haunted. I enjoy watching horror films. I'd also like to try a comedy role, even though I don't consider myself a funny person, but fans often say I'm funny. In the end, I think when we do something we never know if it will be successful, but we should give our best effort in our part. Whether people like it or not is up to the audience. Is there anything you want to tell your 25-year-old self? Thank you, Noel, for never giving up. I want to thank myself for never losing my passion and never staying still. I will continue to strive for my dreams. Thank you for never giving up, and I will be a better Noel than the one from yesterday, every single day.